And once again, Harbor Freight to the rescue. Um, I decided to pick this up so that we could mount the winch and the batteries. Um, I think we're probably going to have to make some modifications to it to uh, make it a little beefier, but I'm going to be putting this together. Now Sissy and Pickle are laying up bark off. So the, uh, the Harbor Freight tractor, the trailer cart, um, sh got some shipping damage and it's missing all the hardware for putting it together. So I won't be putting that together tonight. I'll wait until tomorrow and get a replacement. But, yeah, still going good. <clears throat> Hello, Jesse. Alright, this is the utility cart. twists in these. They're not quite straight. And that's where the hardware is. That's actually kind of nice. At least it allows you to keep them separate. Well, this is a heavy enough gauge steel that I think it might work with some additional reinforcing. That's the uh, dump mechanism. What are you doing? Off. Off. So we had a rain delay. Uh, it got caught in the rain. It got pretty wet. But uh, we're back now. I had everything sort of covered up so it didn't get too bad. Yes, thank you, Hoppy. Just as you're putting one of these together, make sure that you assemble these on the correct side. You want these on the bottom side <laughs> because the instructions in the or the assembly instructions are not exactly clear. Uh, I also would suggest that you don't add the second bolt in the middle before you put these on. It does kind of impede getting in the way. All right, this is kind of a pain in the butt. This uh, steel rod goes through. Uh, runs through the, well there's no bushings here, uh, just runs through the hole in the, in the steel and then that gets bolted down to hold it in place. And I suppose I have to balance the, uh, balance the sides to make sure I have room for the wheels. But let's uh, start putting bolts in. Another tip when you're putting one of these together, um, I put some duct tape on top of here so that I can flip this over uh, this makes it really easy to put on the washers so that I can assemble these. Now I do have my Loctite again. so That tape ends up doing a pretty good job of holding them in place to even tighten them up. I was able to get those nice and tight without having to use the screwdriver. I hate these. I hate flathead screwdrivers in general because they're such a pain in the ass. Um, and these, because they're so wide and shallow, I mean, I, trying to find a screwdriver that actually fits that without having something that's ridiculously long, I mean, it's a specialty tool.
and I don't have a specialty tool to do that kind of thing. Putting on these back corner braces, uh, I would recommend that you put these on to this piece before you install this piece and bolt it down because those bolts are, well, you can't even get to this one to tighten it up in that place. Uh, the problem is, is when you put this on, well, no, I guess that does go all the way around. So yes, put these on first. This is such, such a, ugh. I mean, how would, you, why would you make it so that you can't get a hold of the nut to tighten it? So another pet peeve uh, in putting these together, you want to tighten these down, but that is in the way. So, you, I mean, if you want to fit a socket in there, you can maybe fit a socket, but you're not going to fit a socket and a wrench. <sighs> yeah, put these on first. And once again, vice grips to the rescue to hold on the sides as you're putting it together. All right, as you're adding these, there's this little lip that goes here that has to go underneath there in order to fit on here properly. Uh, once you get that seated, start attaching it from the opposite end. That's going to give you the best ability to hold it and keep it in line as you go on. Once you get the first three installed, uh, the fourth one, you have to install this as well. So it's a little tricky, but you have to fit it in here and get it into place. And then I would suggest starting again at either the middle or the top on this one. And we're, I, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. It's just easier that way. Quiet, you two, okay? We're going to be out here a little while longer. It's okay. Um, you're going to have to take this one out in order to put on the front as well because it's going to, it has to be attached through all three of these as well as the ones underneath. And the last part is to install these corner braces which uh, these go pretty easily I believe and then tighten up all the bolts. And there it is complete. Uh, this is the Hallmaster 10 cubic foot heavy duty trailer cart from Harbor Freight and kind of a pain in the butt to put together. There are some things I would probably like to do to it to make it better. Uh, number one is I would put waterproofing, you know, some silicone sealant or something, some caulk along these edges and in the middle uh, just to make this more watertight. Um, also, I'm planning on putting a wood base in here. That seems to be kind of a universal hack for these. I also might want to cut off these, um, cut off these ends of these bolts so that they're not protruding as much. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. That is the removable rear gate. Um, but these are more. I just want to, you know, cut these and make sure that it's more room. I might cover them with something. <sighs> but that's about it. Now I do have plans for this for something to come, but that's enough for now. So I don't know whether it was a good idea or not, but I decided to put some caulk in the cracks on the bottom here to mostly to keep gunk from getting in between there because the gunk could promote rusting. This way, I mean, if there's water that gets in it, it'll drain out the back. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and then hopefully get on with more.
Hello, Pop. Hello, Pop. Hello, Pop. Look at that dog. Look at that dog. Yeah, look at that dog. Being in the way. So these are ready, I do believe. I got a couple of coats of uh, water seal on them. I'm going to let this last one dry and then I'm going to start cutting them. I've got this one marked already, uh, 30 inches. And we'll start bringing them in and cutting them <coughs> in a little while. And this is with the boards in. I was going to glue them in, but they are just the right length so that they go in nice and tight and they're not going anywhere. I still have to cut this one to fit the uh, the edges but that's a jigsaw away. <laughs> 